Welcome back to ADHD with me, Travis Mills. This week's guest, very special guest. I got Logan Paul on hey, the podcast. What's, what's up, dude? man? How you doing? Good. How does this uh, feel? You're on the other end of the of the seat now. I did your podcast I'm a few guest. weeks ago. Yeah, you're the yeah. guest. It's nice, bro. And I just did Mark's podcast. Literally, like right before this. Yeah, man. I figured I'd come to Hollywood and just do them both. Your fans get a lot of content today. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and like, hopefully we don't do too much overlap, but like... There's a lot of stuff going on, Travis. It's been a fucking crazy day, bro. Yeah. I, you know what I will say? When I did your podcast, I love the formula that you guys have where you guys talk for like five or 10 minutes mm. and then you bring the guests on. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah. How'd you guys How'd you guys come up with that? At first, we didn't because, um, to be honest, I didn't really give a shit about what I had to say or like what Spencer and Mike <laughs> had to say about things. But like, also, we have such good chemistry because we're roommates. Yeah. The banter is just, is just there. So, yeah, we do like five, is it ten always minutes. always like that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like, mean, bro, think about it. You live, do you have roommates? Yeah. Davis over there. Davis. He's good, been hey, my best friend. He's been my best friend since I was 14. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, it's like that. Yeah. All right, amazing. He's old, I'm, though. He's like way older than me. We're, it's kind of creepy that he hung how, out with how, me when I was 14. How old? How no, he's like four years older than me. <laughs> four years? Four oh, years. Right. That is, that's fucking weird, Davis. No, no that's weird. weird. But you know, he took Is me he like, a pedophile? <laughs> They used Are to you? call. I mean, they used to call him that he's in not. high school. No, he's not. He's, okay. he's it's confirmed. He's not. He's. Good. <laughs> um. But yeah, I mean, he's the reason. You know why I got to hang out with like all the cool high school kids when I was in middle oh, school. Oh, that probably made you extra cool, dude. Like when you're a young kid hanging around older, older kids, kids. Yeah, it makes you dope. It does, right? Yeah. I never hung out with kids my own age. Yeah, but you can imagine, like y'all probably have a sick chemistry. Yes. So like we we, all, we know each other's jokes. We know when to pass the mic. And uh, yeah, man, people people seem to like it. And, and I think actually we're going to do one podcast a week with this, where it's just us talk, talking about X, Y, Z. Yeah. Yeah, because bro, I'm sure you know, booking guests <laughs> is a motherfucker. Like, like that shit is hard, dude. It's a, and you do it all yourself? Uh, not anymore. We, we got a guy. Okay. Because I still do it all myself. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you and hit me so, up today. Like, a, like Literally. And by and, the way, it's rare that I'm free. So I, I, was, know. Like, I was like, yes. So it like, kind of worked. And the, the day that I did your podcast, you hit me up. This, I think it was like the, yeah, that it was the night day before. before. Yep. Yeah. And you're like, yo, can you come? Yeah. The, the morning and we'll do this. And I was like, yeah. I'm glad. Uh, me too, man. I'm glad we can make it work. Yeah, for real. But, you know, we got big we got big things to talk about right now. Yeah, man. Because yeah. there's been some big some big developments that just happened in your life over the last 24 <laughs> oh, hours. I know. Last, last five hours, dude. Yeah. It's been a crazy um, day for Logan Paul. And I'm still I'm still in like a weird zone. Like I don't know if you have like fully LP today cuz I'm not quite conscious. I'm not, I don't know. I feel like I'm looking I'm observing my body from above. So yeah. You're in a third person right now. Sort of. Yeah. Mm. Out of body. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're not going to Russia, man. That sucks. We're not I, just, going to I know and I was so excited to talk about it, man. We still will obviously. Yeah, fucking fuck. So dude. you decided today that you're not going to Russia. For everyone listening if they're not familiar, you are going to Russia to uh compete in a, a slap box competition. The World Championship Russian slap competition. I'm sure you've seen the videos. Of course. The the Russians stand across from each other go slap for slap. And this one dude is 370 pounds. His name is Dumpling. And he, <laughs> and he just knocks people out with his slaps. We're like big dudes. just clobbers. Everything. I first saw this like a year two, a year or two ago on World Star. Yes, I was exactly. Like, I was like, dude, this guy's nuts. Yeah. So I saw that. I saw it like uh, five months ago. And like, like, I don't know if I'm a fucking moron. Like, I guess I am. But my first instinct was like, I got to do it. I don't know. Why? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I did. I, I signed up and uh, was going months and months of planning. Dropped, uh, it was 30K at this point, security, visas, um, a whole a whole plan, a whole itinerary. And today we I, I pulled out, backed out. And by the way, set to leave tomorrow. So really flushed it down the drain. So literally, if you would not have made that decision, yeah, this, the, the, this would not be happening because you'd be getting ready to get on yeah. a flight to yeah, Russia. Yeah, yeah, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to do it, but... Uh, well, everyone's going to get pissed if I don't ask why did you decide to pull out? We had an incident today um, during practice, and it's funny when I say practice because like, how do you train to slap people? I was going to ask, yeah. Yeah, well, nor like normally you don't train to slap people because no, like I, I do like watermelons and yes, shit? Yes, For real? Yes, yeah, okay. Yes, we did watermelons. We did, uh, I got a ballistics dummy. So oh, okay. it, it resembles a human flesh yep. and, and bone. And uh, I would like meet, I just slap all these like, different things. <laughs> and by the way, we're, we're filming all this. So like I'm partially doing it for the film, yeah. but partially all, all doing it to like, you know, Train. just get my hands warmed up. And apparently the training did good, bro. And we had a guy who is a slap master, his name. He is a website called Slap for Cash, uh, where he slaps people for money and people slap him for money. It's his thing. It's his business. He loves it. And he's a master. He's 300 
plus pounds, probably about six foot. And so like, you know, this dude comes walking in. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yo, this dude could take a fucking hit. And, I'm, and I asked him, I'm like, you sure you want, like, you, I've never slapped anyone in the face before. And I've also never knocked anyone out. But like, I think I hit pretty hard. And he's like, yeah, dude, for sure. And he was supposed to come and give me advice on how to, how to get hit and how to slap. And I knocked him out. <laughs> one, one slap. Yes. I knocked him out. And uh, I've never seen a, a human crumple like I did before, like that. And um, something about the fact that he was defenseless made me uncomfortable. Like I, 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 I knocked him out. Yeah, I hit him. You heard the whip crack, dropped like a sack of potatoes. And I was I, at first, I was like, "Oh, dope!" But like I did it. Like I knocked him out. Like that's the whole point of this whole accomplished. Yeah, yeah, I, was I like, could great. do this. And I was like, "Hold up." He he looks damaged severely, and it turns out, bro, like he was he was really hurt. Like he didn't remember his name. I remember where he was, who brought him there, who hit him. Didn't remember being hit. Um, it's very scary. Holy shit. Very scary. Shit. So it made me feel uncomfortable. I, I realized I don't like hitting defenseless humans because, like, I feel like, like, bro, I box. So, like, I'm always just hitting, like, punching bags. Like, I know how to hit. And I feel like I could probably recreate that. And it, and it didn't give me the feeling that I thought it would. I, was, I thought I'd be like, oh, competition. I did it. No, I was like, I'm a fucking dickhead. And then... What's worse? What if that happens to me, Travis? I know. What if, what if I become the vegetable? So I have so much to lose, You bro. didn't think about that before you signed up to go Yo, to fucking Russia? Until you're, you're slapping folks and it's so visceral and you see it and you feel it and you feel a face in the palm of your hands, bro. I, didn't, I don't know. You see videos. I mean, did you have any of your friends slap you beforehand to be like, yes. Can I, yeah, yeah, bro. Okay. <laughs> my editor, my editor. I was like, I was like, you know, what? I think I need to practice because this was actually the one thing I was like, I don't, I don't want to train getting hit in the face. I can't be healthy, but like, I'll do it. I'll do it a couple times. So I had my my friend Vitaly slap me, but he didn't go full full speed. I had my editor then slap me. I was like, we're gonna do the weakest person in the room. So my editor uh, came up, wound, wound up, and uh, I don't know how to fucking say it. he he. Slap the shit out of my face. My 140 pound soaking wet editor <laughs> slapped. Like I didn't get knocked out, but I, I, I blacked for a second. I was like, oh, fuck. it's like when your jaw goes this, like just like a little too far, I, just something turns off. Yeah, man. It, there's a button. I mean, like the video is going to come out soon of, cause I, we're not going to rush anymore for the slap competition, but we still have a, a complete like piece of content because not to get crazy deep, but yeah. after I hit this dude, the whole team is like, yo, this is not healthy. There's nothing positive about this. So it was like a shared feeling. It was yeah, like everyone, every, every, everyone was on the same page. They're horrible like, vibes. The sound guy actually backed out before before I knew that we backed out. He's like, yo, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Um, shout out Anton. But uh, and even my videographer Spencer's like, yo, like this is this is that moment where in Tokyo you didn't have someone telling you this is not a good idea. And I and I I told him I'm like I really that resonates with me to to the core. I really respect and appreciate you saying that to me and like truly this is So they told I, that to you. Yep. I'm at the fork in the fucking road, dude, and I've been at this place before and I went the wrong way. And now I'm going to go the right fucking way. Yeah. Cuz can you I mean I don't even know. Can you imagine two things happen? I go there and I kill someone, slapping them in the face. Horrible. You're in Russia. Like, and what, I'm in Russia. What the fuck happens there? Horrible. Or or something happens to me, man. Ugh. My, my mother would kill me. <laughs> She'd kill me, bro. And she warned me. So what did she like, say? What did your mom say to you? She was not happy. She's like, I don't, I, she didn't understand why I was doing it. Can't say I did either, man. Just one of those things. I was like, I felt like this piece of content had to be made. You you talked about like how you're, you know, you're out all this money and, and all these flights yeah. and, and all this preparation. What did you stand to win from this? Like, uh, like what were the stakes for you to even consider this and like go through all this prep and planning? 30,000. Okay. Rubles. <laughs> okay. Russian rubles. I don't, what is that equivalent to you? 386 USD. You're lying. Uh-uh. <laughs> 386 you were, So if you won and you were the champion, you would have won $386. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. How crazy is that? And yo, these Russians are like, yo, I can eat for six months. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like yo, it's just, uh, the risk reward is That's just, what I'm saying. What You're hey, fucking crazy. There. You're fucking crazy. Man, I'll do, I'll do a lot for content, man. I was going to say, it had, yeah, I mean, well, you look, you would have gotten to document the whole entire experience. Yeah. Right. Not many people. I don't think anyone's ever kind of 
come over there. No and one's to, done like, that. No one, bro. And that's that's another thing. Like I'm attracted to doing shit no one's done before. Blessing and a curse. Yeah. So like when I first heard the news, I thought you were gonna make another mockumentary. Everyone thought that. Yeah. This one wasn't. That's that's this, so that's what I, I I was like, okay, you're gonna go to Russia and you're gonna like prank these fools. Bro, we had a full we had a full storyline. We wrote an entire scripted movie, realized it was gonna be too hard to pull off. Uh, because shipping actors, some of the actors we wanted to do, like our love interest and our Russian coach to Russia with the 30 day visa process and all the, in like $5,000 flights. I was like, oh, this is like, a, this is a thing. So it'd be probably just as good, if not better, if we just document actually what's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, pull the plug, man. Did you, uh, when you guys like go get your visas and shit, you, I mean, you have to obviously apply where they ask you like, what are you doing over there? I or you, I don't you, your know. team handles that. I, yeah, yeah, my yeah. assistant handle all that. But like, we, I mean, we got them. We got the. And by the way, in my visa picture, I'm like smirking like this. I'm like, <laughs> like, there's no way. Have you talked to the in, champion, dude. the Russian guy? Have you guys Bruh. like been interfacing? Bro, <laughs> he's tagging me in Instagram videos of him like slapping cabbage and like lettuce and greens, bro. And by the way, disappears completely dissipates into thin air. There's nothing left of that green, bro. Oh my Cabbage, God. like all vegans around the world are in uproar, up in arms. Cause his dump dumpling is his name. 370 pound dumpling, slapping cabbage, slapping poles, bro. He's just slapping everything, sending me, tagging me, taunting me and shit. And he's, I, and I feel bad. Are you too. prepared for what like he might say? Like, do you feel like he's going to be like, Oh, Logan Paul's scared. That's why he pulled out. I mean, you're right. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I don't think, no, I mean, look, one, like, like, you, I'm you, terrified. This is, it's the dumbest shit ever, bro. I don't think, I don't think any person in their right mind would be like, like for, I, I wasn't nervous, but yo, the fact that I could be brain dead in, in, in one slap, sl one slap. Like, yeah. I don't want to do it, bro. Fuck. Slapping is effective though. I am, if I ever get in a street fight, yeah, you're fuck sla punching, slapping. bro, I'm slapping. Yo, I've <laughs> never, I've Diaz, never knocked dude. one. The stopped and slap. Oh, they, they slap. That's, <laughs> that's their trademark. What? In UFC, dog, they'll fucking slap you. The wow. It's called the Stockton slap. Wow. It's called the Stockton slap. They just reach out and just slap you. Can I, can, you want to watch it? I, I, let me just play the sound. Let me just play the sound of the, of the. Oh, of the dude slapping cat. <laughs> oh, of, oh, of me oh, slapping oh. the dude. It's on you. Okay. Rolling. Open hand. Bro, what wow. are you gonna do? Damn. And it's it's wild to me that you got a wake up call like literally twenty four hours before you're getting on a fucking plane. Happened in Tokyo too, and I didn't take that wake up call. What do you mean? Before I went to Tokyo, the universe gave me a sign like, "Yo, you this is not a trip you should be going on." I was sick, more sick than I've ever been in my life. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you've been like deathly sick. This was it for me. Like, would you, what you couldn't what talk, could not speak. I was so sick. Like my voice was completely gone. My head was fucking huge, bro. And I didn't, I didn't take the sign. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to tough through it. I already paid money for this trip. Damn. You got on a plane like that? Got on a plane like that. Yeah. I, I literally wasn't sure if I was going to wake up after I was in first class, <laughs> but like, <laughs> so, so I was laying down, yeah. <laughs> but like also I wasn't sure if I was going to wake up or not. I thought I was going to die. I had never been that sick in my life. And I had, I, I decided to push through it and look what fucking happened, dude. I'm now listening to the universe. Like, please give me more signs. I love you. Well, I mean, it's great that you can, you know, experience something like that and grow from it. I mean, obviously, you know, you're taking your own advice. Yeah. Yeah. And you're putting it, you know, putting it into action. Yeah. Yeah, just hopefully we can kill these ideas at the inception, though, so we don't have to go through all the bullshit before we're like, that's not a good How idea. How many people are you really running it by? Like, is, is there, like, a lot of people, or do you just kind of, like, are yeah. you just like, yo, I want to do this, everyone make it happen? No, no, it's everyone. And by the way, no one... Maybe one or two people was like, yo, I could see how that could be a good piece of content. By the way, it'd be, it it would be a great piece of content. <laughs> yeah. Like whether I get knocked out or do do the knocking out, it would be a phenomenal piece of content. Is there pads or anything by where Nothing, people bro. So it's you're just fuckery. in Russia standing face yeah. to face just getting fucking yeah, slapped. Just get fucking clobbered, bro. It's fucked. Oh. So what about boxing? You're still you're still boxing. Still boxing. Boxing's different because like the person has a chance to to, to defend fight back. themselves. Yeah, yeah, like if you win, it's like you, you're the better man today. And uh, slapping, they're just standing there defenseless. And I, and again, I thought it'd be. Uh, no, you're good. Sorry, that might have been the first burp on ADHD, ever. Sorry, it's okay. I thought I'm, I thought I could do it, bro, but I couldn't do it. Who do you think it's gonna be silent? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, did you feel like you wanted to do this uh, because of like, well, I mean, because you like you don't have a fight set up. I know that like when I was on your podcast, you guys talked about it and you were trying to get something set I'll up. I'll tell you why I wanted to do it, Travis. Out. Why? Because that's a great question. And I did not talk about it on Mark Donor's podcast. I'll tell you why. Everyone is so oversensitive about everything. And I'm angry, bro. You're angry about this PC culture that we're in? I'm angry. And how do you feel like we change it? Go to Russia and slap people? <laughs> Nah, man, I just think people are going to realize, like, there are so many things to complain about. There are so many things to complain about. And eventually, the people are going to get bored of complaining. Like, you could, I could complain. Yo, man, I'm going to be honest, dude. It's a little too fucking cold in here. And that stain on the floor is really pissing it's me too off. Cold you see in what here? I, I'm doing? Yeah. You see what I'm doing? I could complain about everything, bro. And people are really like, yo, this is great. I could complain about everything. Nah, fuck that. Fuck you, by the way. Nah, bro. So I'm, I'm angry. I'm like, yo, if I can go to Russia and exercise that inner Ohio primal instinct that I have and just be standing across some dudes who, by the way, don't give a fuck about anything. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care, bro. They don't care. Like, and I envy that in a way, but also like I, I have that to a degree, obviously, because I'm not going. But like, it it just seemed uh, for like a way for me to exercise a a a right that I I don't know if it, like exists anymore. Just to just mono we mono. Do you like doing shit of, that makes you feel like not a celebrity? Do you like, like stepping it? Like, well, like when you go into a boxing gym, no one gives a fuck if you're, you know, a YouTuber. Nah, or unfortunately, or they do, bro. Really? They, oh, pfft, who doesn't want to knock out the world's most controversial YouTuber? That's dope. That's but I'm dope. saying, I, if anything, they don't treat you special. They don't treat you like they don't go easy on. They you. go harder, exactly. Because it's but dope. I'm saying they're not going to make it easy because you're, you know, like everything in life when you're a quote unquote celebrity is easier for you, right? Like you get out of you get out of trouble. I, I never understood. I never understood that. I really? feel like it should be harder. Yeah, but like why? Well, no, why here's my thing. When I when I first started putting everything together, it's like crazy how when you get on, you go to all these events and you get the most expensive shit for free. Yeah, right. Okay. Like it's 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 kind of like ass backwards. It's like the people who could afford the shit get it for free. Yeah, and the people who well, that, yo, like, you know, you go to a coffee shop, there's like a, a bur the barista is a fan. This one's on me. I'm like, yo, I really appreciate that. But also like, I can afford this. Like, yeah. how, how about the guy behind me? Like, yeah. he probably needs it a little more than not. Maybe not though. Maybe it's you, bro. Or I don't know. But like, <laughs> do you feel, do you feel more, do you, do you like doing non-celebrity things? Like, sure. I Oh, all the time. Yeah. I do the weird, I, I do weird ass. Like, what's the word? Like, you go laser tagging probably, huh? Uh, I paintball. That's, that's one dope. thing. Yeah. yeah. So that's one thing that like I really like doing and no one gives a, and you know, you, Are you, you good? ask. Yeah. I've really? won I've won like I've won like two three champions. Three, oh that's like, oh that's you. You're like that. Oh yeah, no, I'm like that. <laughs> I'm at Mark out there paintballing. Oh, you go to uh Hollywood Sports. Yes. Yeah. My, Have you been? Uh, yeah, my guy Bear owns it. Yeah, same. Yeah, come on. Uh, Bear we yeah. got the same circle. Uh, every Bear did you Wait, know, so you're, everyone you're good like that. I'm good Fuck. like that. I say I, I got no patience, bro. I'm the guy who just runs out and like like oh, I, I like to do that too. I have patience tattooed on my knuckles though. So oh, I can so, okay. I can like I don't like to like sit back. I like to play front and like I like to play fast. Mm -hmm. But uh but yeah, so I, I like paintballing because people one thing, you got a target on your head. Like people want to fuck me up out there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> They want to like, well, cause it's cool to take down T Mills. It's like, like guess, that's dope. I no, guess. that's dope, dude. Guess. Like, man, who you could take out, like, dude, I'll get Instagram from DMs from kids that play there, like, I hope you're there this weekend, pussy. Like, I'm gonna <gasps> light you up. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. <laughs> nah, kids are getting aggressive, bro. They get aggressive, but I like putting myself in those positions. And like, I, I don't, I'm weird. Like, I like, I like being in front of, I like doing things like this, but I hate getting attention outside of this. Really? Yeah. I'm an attention whore. Really? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Cause like, I reciprocate the energy, right? So someone comes up to me, they're like, yo, Logan, big fan. I'm like, I love you. And it's just like this super positive, like <laughs> bubble of energy that happens. And like, like, bro, I love my fans. And I, I don't, I'm not just saying that. Like, I fucking love them. And to the point where it's not like when a fan, like I just said, when a fan comes up to me and like, yo, I love you. It's not like, hey man, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. I like fuck around with them. Like they're my friends. You oh know no, yeah, same like, here. I, I, fuck, I fuck with them. Sorry guys, but like you're gonna you're gonna interact with me. We're gonna have a good ass time at your expense. Uh, <laughs> nah, but like, nah, I mean it, man. So like, I'm a little bit of an attention whore. Yeah, have I'm also just kind of like, like a whore, dude. To be honest, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> have you always been am like I? that? Um, yeah, I am. I have. My dad, like, it'd be my brother's birthday party, and I'd be like, you turn into your doing birthday. a unicycle or some shit, and he's like, you don't always have to be the center of attention. Turns out I did. Yeah. Turns out I did. Yeah. <laughs> have you always wanted to be a boxer? 
Was that something that you would? Yes. Did you fight? You fought your whole life? I yeah. know you wrestled. You wrestled. Which that for me, all right, like if I had to break it down in musical terms, yeah. wrestling is like learning the piano at a, long age, uh, at a young age because you could take piano and kind of apply it to like every other instrument. Yes. Wrestling is that, and yes. I never understood that when I was younger, right? My uncle, incredible wrestling coach, like he- Really? Ran, oh yeah, ran shit in like Chino, California. Uh, but I, I never got into it. I was just like, I didn't get it. And yeah, and oh, now- you, But you tried? No, I never wrestled in high school or anything, but okay. then I got into jujitsu. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, but for me, like then when I started jujitsu, I was like, fuck, so much of this. <laughs> wrestling, yeah. It, wrestling. Such it's, a great base, dude. Yeah. Such a great base. It's, it's, uh, it's so crazy because you wear like singlets and you're like just grappling with a dude. And like everyone who doesn't wrestle at your school, by the way, like the, no one shows up to the wrestling meets besides the parents, but it's a great base for everything, like hard work and life. And I mean, like, especially physical sports. And after wrestling practice, I would go do MMA. So I did MMA for like one to four years, one to four years, one to four years. Yeah, which Between, one? Which like one? it was like on and off one to four years. <laughs> but like, <laughs> what the fuck? What a long time period. I'm blanking out. This is my second podcast today. But um, yeah, man. So I, 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 before I did the YouTube stuff, I wanted to be a fighter. Like really, truly. Like, really, oh, bro, wow. so I'm going to secure the bag with an MMA fight. I know I am. So Who, that, that's Who's going to take me first? Bellator, UFC, what's good? You know, I get those numbers. How wild is it for you hearing like somebody like Dana White or like Joe Rogan talk about like your fight? It just depends on what context. I mean, yeah. it, the answer is yes. It's fucking crazy. I know. Bro. I've heard Joe I Rogan admire, not, but I mean, he spoke about it. He he like saw some of the clips. Joe and shit Rogan and spoke, that, spoke highly of it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I ran into him and he's like, he's like, you know, a lot of people are mad that I said you could fight. And I'm like, man, you say my name. People are probably going to be mad. mad. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but like, I got a lot of backlash. I'm like, okay, like, whatever. And then he walked away. And Dana White, man, he just keeps shitting on me. Dana, what's good, bro? You know I'm pulling more numbers than your last fight. Dana, come on, big guy. Well, I just think, I, you know, and I heard Shab, uh, I feel like I've heard Shab say that if CM Punk could fight in the UFC, that you could definitely fight yeah. in the UFC. Yeah, bro. I mean, it, who wants that bag? I'm here. I'm who would ready. you fight? That's that's the golden question. Because I know your brother's been calling out like Dylan Dennis and like they were supposed to do something. My brother's calling out everyone, yo. He yeah. called out Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy went to jail. That's not happening that's anymore. Not happening. Apparently the contract was like almost inked. Do you know who Sage Northcutt is? Yes. Super Sage North. Yo, he just got his fucking orbital bone broken. Fuck. He got knocked the fuck out. 30 seconds. In 30 yes. seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you watch it? Uh, I, I mean, that one yeah, FC, yeah, yeah, that one <laughs> FC shit. Oh my god, dude! And uh, he just had surgery to like repair all the fucking repair his face bones. Yo, and face. also that happened, and I'm like, yo, that like, doesn't hold on. Like, like you're slap boxing versus fucking MMA. Like you, you're down to go into into a fucking octagon. I don't know why. I don't know why it's different. I think because like, bro, when I box, let's be honest, I'm using it's like it's half a fight. You can't use the bottom half of your body. And yeah. by the way, I was trained my whole life using the bottom half of my body in wrestling and jujitsu too. Um, and so I yeah, trained I Muay Thai and I went to a, I, I went to a boxing class one time, like, cause my oh, coach was yeah, showing yeah, yeah. dude. So f I got worked. Really? I got fuck. I couldn't do my react. I wanted to throw kicks and I wanted oh, to use oh, my yeah, knees. Yeah. And dude, these fools were just, they get in so close and yeah. I couldn't create the space. Yes. I got, I got fucking worked by this like 15 year old female. Like this kid oh, is shit. a badass. Do you remember his name? No, I don't. But he's, uh, he, I know it was at, uh, it was at, I want to say, where was it at? Was that Trinity? Boxing okay, club. okay. With Hino, Hollywood Hino. Uh, it was. It's at the gym that Hino trains okay, at. Okay. Yeah, but my coach Eddie. Uh, and Holy this shit. kid was fucking mopping up everyone. And yeah, wow. I sparred with him. And dude, I mean, one hand was fucking me. It's tough, up. dude. Well, it's. I mean, how do, how can you expect to go into a sport where, you, you, I mean, you're trained to throw kicks and elbows yes. and knees and like you can't. It's tough. I, I would spar MMA guys, dude. And fighting them is is or sparring them is different than sparring boxers. They. They come with big overhand punches that miss a lot. But yo, by the way, when they connect, they break your fucking face. Yeah. Because they're built to knock out. Like UFC, MMA is all just every punch is a knockout punch, dude. And uh, yeah, one, one guy actually uh, about a month before my KSI fight, he, re he uppercutted my jaw and fucking dislocated it. And uh, really you had a hurt. dislocated jaw before you went into that fight. Yeah, it, it it the symptoms stopped about five days before the fight. I could like finally like chew comfortably again. And like, bro, hundreds of little injuries like that. Like no one knows. I couldn't use my right hand for a month during training because I I fucked up some shit in my knuckle. Like, I've had that knuckle thing for like the last six months too. It, it, what happens when you punched? Oh you oh, oh I, for two months I could I could barely. I was just training kicks because I anytime I mean I had like a stress fracture on my knuckle. On like yeah two of my yeah, bro. It's it's the worst, dude. 
Like I started just like punching sandbags just to strengthen my, I mean, it's probably not great, but just to strengthen my knuckles. Cause like now they're good, but yeah. It was so time. Logan Paul has hands. <sighs> Apparently bro. Logan like Paul I has I, hands. I, well, That's what this, po- this, this whole podcast. I got, I got some hands. Logan, Logan Paul has hands. I got hands. We spoke a little bit earlier. You said like there, you feel like there is a target on your head uh, because you are a celebrity. Did, is that the thing that you were talking about with the boxing? Like, do you feel like you had fighters going in there being like, I'm going to fuck this dude. For up. sure. For sure. And we have to keep them tame. And most of them listen. But, like, say we go to a, uh, some, like, wild random gym, which sometimes we do because you run out of sparring partners. You want to switch up the style. Like, man, like, no one goes extra easy on you because I'm me. They're like, yo, I want to fuck this dude up. Like, like <laughs> I'm going to call you out, Hino, actually, at Trinity. I sparred him my, my second sparring session ever at his gym, by the way. And Hino's a fucking animal. He beat my ass. I'd be scared to. There was no the sympathy, him, dude. He beat my. Actually, you know what there was? He didn't go full fledged, but like, I got my, ass, I got my ass yeah. handed to me, and I, I don't know, I was just a young buck, dude. But now, nah, bro, I'm knocking people out with my slaps. You know? Oh, you can't slap people in boxing, though. Yeah, you cannot slap people yeah, in boxing. Yeah, you get that's, disqualified. Yeah, that's. Uh, what did you think of Conor McGregor and uh, and Floyd's fight? That was one of the most exciting and entertaining sporting events I've ever seen in my life. I'm a fight fan. So that's a a little biased. And then also McGregor, like just completely switched sports in a way to, to fight the best in his sport. Man, I just remember the novelty of that fight made me so excited and like optimistic in a way that like anything is possible. Like I'm a YouTuber and I want to do an MMA fight. Can you imagine, bro, if I get a fight in the UFC or Bellator even and like, why wouldn't you just do your own? Because like, look, I, I told you this before, but I paid to watch your boxing match. Oh yeah, and this is like yeah. before like we were hanging out. And yeah, stuff. like I like literally was just genuinely interested. Lots of people didn't. Just so you know, really lost about ten to twenty million dollars. The boxing match. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Pirated streams, illegal viewing. Oh, like- you can find out how many how many streams it got pirated. Bro, oh. one point one million viewers on Twitch alone. On Twitch alone. Oh, fuck. That's $11 million, man. Damn. That's just one place. So, yeah, man, we're fucked. And, uh, but the answer to your question is, um, we, we will and we are, but there's a level of respect that you get if you do a UFC fight or a Bellator fight. Like, like I can benefit them. the organization, Yeah. yeah. Like I can benefit them and they can benefit, they can benefit me in many ways, you know? So there's got to be a mutual, mutually agreed upon contract that sort of gets the job done, you know? Now, do you want to fight a UFC fighter or do you want to fight like another YouTuber or content creator? It probably have to, I mean, man, at this point, I'm going to be honest, I don't know any content creator that's like, that's crazy enough to get in. If you know one that's crazy there, enough to get in the ring with me, like. There's that dude that phase Sensei, dude. Yeah. He fights. I would, I would fight him, but also like, is it worth it for me? Right? Like if, like. What am I, what do I get out of that? Mm. Like no offense, face sense. do like good job at everything, but I don't think he's got enough clout to be honest. He's a good fighter. It, I'm sure it'd be a great match. I'm you sure. wanted to fight Sage? Sage, no. Yeah. but no, same, same thing. I'm yeah. like, Sage is a great fighter, but like, what do I get? There's no, there's no world in which I'm truly winning. Logan Paul beats Sage North. Like who cares? Colby who Covington, a, dude. Who, gives a, who? Colby Covington. He's crazy. He's crazy. Maybe, but like, I'll, like, I don't know. They can't be like a, a top notch world contender, but they gotta be someone to pull some weight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, uh, yeah. 2019 is halfway over, dude. What, uh, what do you have planned for the rest of the year that you can't talk about? <laughs> that I can't talk about. That you can, that you can Oh, that I can't talk, talk about. about. I'm forming a team, Travis. You're forming a team? This is the part where in the movie, the agent comes up to you and they're like, I'm forming, I'm assembling a team. That's me, dude. Okay. Are you going to give me the pitch right now? It's a social media label. It's a social media label um, where we're going to be focused on talent, actual talent, true talent that can, that can extend far beyond the the scope of the internet. And I just want to form a dream team of kick-ass people. Like I want my own team set. I want my own phase clan. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm craving the creative environment that those places have and the hustle. Do you feel like that's something that you never had? No, I, I mean, no, 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 that's not, that's not totally true. I'm not talking about the hustle. I mean, like, like a team like that, like no. someone, cause you kind of did a lot of this yourself. I mean, you did like all this yourself. You forged, you know, your own path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B- but I, I did 
surround myself with the right people. And it's like, even like my roommates, all of them are, they, they help me make my, me make my content. So of course, so like Dwarf Mamba, bro, like he's been like a day one for me. Uh, Mike now is in the content. So like, it's always good to have a group around you, just like a more exciting, fun, like content type of environment. But um, what do you look for then? Like, are you, are you currently looking for talent? Like, what do you look for in talent? I am. I'm recruiting talent right now. Email me at, <laughs> um, <laughs> now we'll find you. Uh, I don't know. I have, I have a very good scope. I, I, like I have that eye when it comes to talent. I have that with music. I can tell when something's about to pop. Really? Way before. Have you predicted songs? Uh, I mean, I signed Lil Peep in 2016 oh, before. Sh- oh my God, that's right. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. That whole thing is so sad. I'm so, so sorry about that. Thank you, man. Um, there's actually a documentary that was just made too that uh, that is coming out. It's actually going to release. It showed at South by Southwest. It's called really? Everybody's Everything. Um, it's fucking beautiful. And wow. yeah, and that it's it, they're going for like a worldwide release. Wow. So that'd, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome, bro. But that's exactly how I felt, man, where yeah. I like, you know, I found, I, I saw that talent and I saw like the possibilities and I was just like, fuck, like I, like, you know, I just, I got to do something. Yeah. Like I got, I got to, yeah. I got to reach out and I just, I, I got to help any way I can. Yeah. And you were right, by the way. So like, congrats. But yeah, I, I have that thing. Like I can see, I can see talent. And like, to be honest, we're like, we can make anyone famous at this point. It's the people who, after we take off the training wheels, can ride the bike on their own. Their own, you know yeah. What I'm saying? So yeah, we got we're gonna find a group of those. I'm not, probably gonna get another house near me, um, stick them in it, and probably not live with me just because I could get a little dicey. And, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know that's I mean we've, we've seen historically a lot of these uh, these teams fall apart and crumble under whatever sort of pressure it is. Like what do you think pressure. that is? I don't, I don't know if it's like a in-person vibe environment. I don't know if it's like a contractual thing. I don't know if it's some sort of mistreatment. I don't know. But like, bro, like I'm good with people. There's not like a single person in my, like I, besides KSI, I don't really have enemies and I don't really enjoy like talking shit that much and being a, a, a bad guy. Yeah. Like I'm good at it, but I don't like, it's not my forte you know what i'm saying like i could do it but after meeting you after seeing like seeing online to then meeting you i could realize like like there's a huge entertainment factor it's just about which it's yeah. you know and then when when i'm alone with you in a room and there's yeah. no cameras on yeah it i, I like you know it's yeah. Logan. bro i'm just like here to entertain like i like love me hate me bro like at least you're watching me i don't fucking know bro. <laughs> Shit, dude. Well, yo, man, I'm glad you're not going to Russia and, uh, you know, you're not going to get fucking knocked out or you're not going to kill anybody. Yeah, those are both good things. Yeah, right? We're we're avoiding two very bad things. Yeah. Because even if you knocked him out, people are still, they're just going to be like, oh, he's a bully. Bro, I'm, I'm half tempted not to put this video out. Like, I don't like, out of context, it looks horrible. It is horrible. It's horrible. But like that, that's the name of the game. I Do you guess? feel like you want to put out that video so that the dude in Russia sees it and he's like, oh fuck. Uh, yeah. Are you, you going to tag him? Are you no, okay. no, no. <laughs> Bro, but he get, he got like 10,000 followers because we started <laughs> reposting his stories. But like, I, I mean, he'd see it and he, I mean, I'm, the dude that I knocked out is bigger than he is. So, like, I'm sure it would strike some fear into him, but also, like, does it fire him up and make him slap harder? At which point, like, I just, again, become brain damaged. I don't want that smoke in my life. I don't want it. So, who knows, dude? I'm on a bigger and better things now, Travis. I'm in love. You're in love? No. I was like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I wish. You're in love. That's oh, fucking nice. Yeah. Man. Fuck you. Soon, I'm just kidding. Man. Soon. Soon what? Soon. You'll, you'll find love. Yeah. think so? Yeah. Really? A- Yo, what? <laughs> What if I find it this week because I didn't go to Russia? Russia. Oh fuck. You gotta I'm, keep your eyes and your heart extra open this week. Bro, I'm I yep. on God, I'm hunting. <laughs> I'm hunting this week. <laughs> hey ladies, what's good, bro? Hit up Logan Paul this week. Bro, I want to date an actor like you. You really? Yeah. Okay. Or or a musician. Oh, you don't want to date a musician. No, they're crazy. Well, just the touring schedule. It's just rigorous. Uh, but yo, but acting too, like that I, I was gonna say that, but at least with acting, you're not shooting in a new place every day. You're shooting in one place. So like, I mean, on a show, 
Well, yeah, but a movie too, like your own, oh, I mean, unless you're in like a crazy fucking movie, but even a movie you're on location, you know, if you shoot True. it in Atlanta, you're there for two months. True. But like tour, you're on a rolling house, yeah. dude, for th- oh, three, four months I forgot at a time. about that, but also like. I'm shooting this new show right now and I have to leave, I leave every. Oh, that's right. You told me this. Every like Wednesday and um, and, yeah, I can't talk about the title or anything. Uh, the one we talked about on your show, the scripted show, I finished that okay, one. Okay, congrats. I'm shooting a new show right now where I leave. Yeah, so I do my Beats One show Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, record my Thursday show, leave on a flight Wednesday night, get back on Monday mornings. So I'm flying to some location, shooting for four or five days, and then flying back. It's that's, pretty that's hefty. And it reminds me of being on the road again, dude. Uh, like I'm living out of my fucking suitcase, uh, and it's, it's rough. And my tough. girl's, you know, she's shooting a movie right now. How so, y'all do it? You just do you have it. FaceTime sex? I bet. No. No? No. I had a couple girls try to do that with me. That's so weird to me. Not into it. Never. I've never been into like phone sex. No, no or desire. Like, yeah. No. That's to me, that's fucking weird. weird. And you're just like, ugh, just spare me. Do you ever get nudes? No. Like for my, no. I've never, by the way, I've never sent a nude either. Me either. Yeah. I'm going to say nudes, same, same, we're on the same page, right? I just don't get it. I don't yeah. know. I just, I'm not, I don't know. But like, <laughs> hey, props, props to you, man. I, but I just feel like, I just feel like a, an actor or I mean, someone who's not in the digital space who also still does something similar can bring a perspective to my life that I think I need to a grow as a human and, and grow career wise. Cause like I am very career focused right now. My so. girl definitely did that for me. Yeah. Bro, I'm and sure like she talk- made you nine times better. Oh my God. Yeah. And definitely like, sh- like helped show me my worth. Uh, just like as like a person or like, you know, think like I used to just be very, I don't know, not non-confrontational, but like I, I'm punk rock, right? Like I just roll with the punches, yeah, like yeah. Uh, whatever, like do do do, you know, I'm punk rock, whatever. Yeah. And then like, you know, she's instilled some things like, yo, you should stick up for yourself in certain bruh, situations. Bruh. And like, just been like, it's, it's been cool. Invaluable, been cool bro. Some of these girls are so wise, just fucking gems. And I love them. I need to be around more gems, dude. Well, you're not going to Russia now, so you can't. I'm going to find my wife this week. Hey, baby, I love you. <laughs> I'm fucking coming for you. Uh, Logan Paul, dude, thank you so much for doing this, man. Yeah, I got you, bro. I'm going to go eat. It. I'm exhausted and tired of knocking people out. Okay. Well, yeah, you, you've already knocked enough people out for today. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, go check out Impulsive. What do you call it? The number one podcast in I the mean, world? I don't call it that. It is that. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, check us out. Thanks, dude. Got you, bro. It's ADA.